Hi everyone. This video is about the Maharashtra MBA CET 2023 slot 4 analysis. So I'm talking about the 26 March 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. slot. So we'll do the analysis of that part. Now, before going for that slot 4 analysis, just understand what is the overview of this CD 2023. See, CD 2023 was conducted on two days, that is 25th March, 26th March. On each day, there were two slots. So overall, this exam was conducted in four slots. Now, the major problem happened in the first slot. What happened when the first slot, when the exam started, the time for the exam shown was 180 minutes. Now, five minutes before that, means after around 145 minutes, uh, the exam was uh, stopped automatically. And at many centers, the exam was restarted. So what happened because of that, many students got just 150 minutes only for the exam and many students got a 180 minutes for the exam. So now many students are asking for the rescheduling of that exam or re-exam because uh, many people got 180 minutes, many people got 150 minutes. That is particularly for the slot one part. This news was shown on many local channels also. So let's see what DT does about it. Even uh, in the first uh, slot, there were no rough sheets given in the first 20-25 minutes. So I say, okay, that were rough sheets were not given. So that might be a little bit inconvenience. But many smart students, what they did, they started with the English question or RC questions or abstractizing questions where the rough sheets were not required. Many students, we have hall ticket had two pages. So one page of the instruction page. Many students started writing, doing the rough work at the back of that additional page. That is how people manage for first 20-25 minutes. But after 20-25 minutes, everybody got the rough sheets. Now this particular thing I'm talking about the only for the slot 1. As far as the slot 2, 3 and 4 is concerned, every student got 150 minutes only. There were no issues reported about any uh, technical problems or something like that, except a few cases here and there. Otherwise for slot 2, 3 and 4, the exam went very, very smoothly. As far as the exam is concerned, the interface of the exam is not that great. Now students are taking exams like CAT and MAT, SNAP, all these are online exams. Okay, but the interface is very, very good. Now how here the interface was different? First part, they have mentioned option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but to click the answer, again they have given the slots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. So basically, from the options, you have to choose which is the correct one. You have to decide which is the correct option. Let's say my correct option is option 3. But I can't click beside the option. I have to go down and there again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I mentioned. There I have to cl click as 3. Okay, once I click that, then to go to the next question, I have to click on the next part. So ideally, most of the exams have the next button and the bottom right side. Now here, the next button is on the top right side. So you have to scroll down to click the option and you have to again scroll up to click the next part. So that was a little bit inconvenient. But after some time, 10-15 uh, minutes, probably student got used to it and they, uh, the exam went very smoothly for them. So except slot 1, there were no issues in the other slots. Right? Now let's move to the slot 4 analysis. Now, uh, since uh, CD 2021-22 was a jumbled paper, this year also the people were expecting the jumbled paper only. But what happened here, CD had declared the paper pattern before the exam and this paper pattern was like this only. Okay, But nobody believed that okay they will stick to that paper pattern. Because last year, last two years also, though they declared a paper pattern, they didn't stick to that breakup of the question. But here, in slot 4, when I saw before the start of the exam, before the start of the exam, what happened? They had declared this paper pattern. That is, they had mentioned this as a section, so logical reasoning section, verbal uses and reading comprehension, quantity aptitude, abstract reasoning, and they are mentioned a number of questions. So when the exam started, what we realized that all logical reasoning questions were together. Okay. There were no sections. 
that is section one, section two. So question number one to two hundred was there, but all logical reasoning questions were together. All English questions were together. All maths questions were together. All abstract reasoning questions were together. So if I look at actually one to ninety five questions had logical reasoning questions, seventy five questions. Plus there were twenty RC questions in between. There were twenty RC questions in between. But again, all those twenty RC questions were together. So except that part, the exam was in that continuous order. So for example, one to ninety-five, those questions were based on your logic, plus twenty questions in between of RC. Then next section was verbal uh, English part. Those were thirty-five next questions. Then after that, fifty questions of quant. And after that, twenty-five questions of abstract reasoning. So students who had planned any strategy because slot four means what? They got a feedback from slot one, two, three. So those who had planned a particular strategy that I'll attempt this area first or this area last, they did not have any issues in doing that part. Right? So let's look at the each section in detail and see the what were the types of questions asked in each area. Let's start with the first area that is logical reasoning. Now, logical reasoning. Let me categorize into three categories. That is, one is the analytical puzzles, analytical reasoning questions, and verbal and critical reasoning questions. That is, total eleven questions were there. So, analytical puzzles fifteen questions, analytical reasoning forty nine questions, verbal reasoning eleven questions, total seventy five questions. Okay. Again, now here. Here also, if you look at analytical puzzle questions, at least in my slot, analytical puzzle questions were together. So when I started the logical reasoning section, there were four analytical puzzle sets which we had to start only. So let's go in detail. So as I said, as I started my paper, at the start of that logical reasoning section, the question based on analytical reasoning was there. So totally, there were four sets were asked. So one questions of three marks, one set of three marks, and here it was four plus five. So if you observe, if you observe those uh, four sets, the level of difficulty I can say easy to moderate. What you are supposed to do in every set, you just make that final arrangement or final uh, distribution. Once you prepare that, you have to just answer the questions. For answering the question, you don't need to think again. Only one set was like that, where for every individual questions I have to work on separately, and some that was based on some numbers given, but that was also manageable set. So if I look at overall analytical puzzles, there were fifteen questions. A good student who has prepared well analytical puzzles, he will find these questions as easy questions, and he can score fifteen out of fifteen, probably in fifteen minutes or less than that also. Okay. So that way the questions were very very easy part. In fact, the number of statements given were around four or five statements. So that way also the lesser amount of information to process. So students solve them faster also, and accuracy should be hundred percent in this article puzzles part. Now let's move to the article reasoning part. Now when I look at a slot four logical reasoning section. Or in fact, for that matter, the other sections also, I found it's a well-balanced paper because they ask the questions on every area. Look at the areas. You found the questions on direction sense, deductions, blood relations, coding, decoding, analogies, number and letter series, word formation, cubes, odd man out, comparison, data sufficiency, and some miscellaneous questions were there. Okay. So whatever, as a CET student, whatever areas we study, all those areas the questions were asked. The areas which were missing were what? Uh, uh, probably the input output and decision making. Apart from that, all the areas the questions were asked, as far as the analytical reasoning portion is concerned. Now, if I go in detail, so let's say if I talk about the direction sense question, all questions were straightforward. Only one questions were there where okay some. Uh, Directions are replaced by the other directions. That probably you need to think, or people might students might go wrong there. Otherwise, out of five remaining four questions were straightforward. So those normal questions related to the shadow, 
or the in which direction somebody is facing these kind of questions are there so the, the kind of regular question some one practices while preparing for cd all those types of questions were there deduction questions there were only two statements and two conclusions so two statements two conclusion that's the easiest form but i find that okay certain statements were not that straight forward okay so i say it's i'll not say it's a difficult one but it is not that straight easy also but out of five questions you can get all five correct but probably for one or two question you need to think blood relation question all were single single questions and all were manageable questions in fact in fact mean none of the blood relation questions were more than two to three lines also so lesser amount of information of uh, with the with the two or three generations you have a family trees form after that you can easily answer the questions look at coding decoding questions and particularly i'm talking about a later series questions okay so for these kind of questions uh, it is advisable that you write a b c d a to z you write on that rough sheets once you write a to z on the rough sheets and number them then coding decoding later series questions you could have easily answer them okay analogies questions i will say few one or two questions were tricky so there were two options from that okay which one to choose students were confused fine but if you look at a number series question cd never had so easy questions in number series because cd is known for the difficult number series questions so when ibps used to set the paper the cd had a very difficult number series questions so this time the number series questions was easy in fact i don't remember any number series question had more than two digit numbers also so that way the number series questions were very very easy see there were few question based on word formation so they have given the word using those letters of that word you are supposed to form a how many words can be formed but in one or two question i found the directions they have given were not very clear so are you supposed to use all the words all the letters of the word or any number of letters i can use and form the word that information was not very clear so in one or two questions the student got confused see uh cubes questions were asked in cet this year it is basically the n by n cube was there it is painted with one color and you have to find how many are zero face painted one face painted two face painted and so on and there were four questions the only issue with these four questions was what these four questions were not together so on the same data they asked those four questions or those four questions scattered okay now this happens last year this happened many set means i remember when i took a last year cd this type of questions were asked means what data is given four questions on that but they are scattered toward in the entire 200 questions so i mean my paper last year happened around 12 sets but this year there was only one set where cubes question were only distributed on the same date odd man out all questions were individual questions and manageable comparison see actually comparison questions i could have included in the analytical puzzles also but comparison questions there was no question which was a set based all were individual questions but sometimes they are comparing the height sometimes comparing the ages those kind of questions were there again the amount of information given was in two three lines but again manageable questions i don't find anybody should go any question wrong there data sufficiency only single question but it was a easy question and some miscellaneous questions were also asked on that logic so if you look at if you look at the overall logic analytical reasoning section part was well balanced all the areas questions were asked most important part is what students could have attempted all 49 question and could have easily score around 45 marks so this should have been the favorite at, uh, area for the students in this paper because all questions were of easy to moderate level so you saw for example uh, directions as i say what if you leave only one question the other were easy deductions all were easy but you have to think one or two you have to think why such a conclusion is asked right so overall the analytical reasoning session was very easy 
कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन से फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ द मॉडर डिफिकल्टी लेवल लेट्स बोलो नेक्स्ट पार्ट सी वर्बल एंड क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग नाउ देर वेर क्वेश्चन ऑन एसरशन एंड रीजन सिक्स क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट एंड एजम्शन देर वे फाइव क्वेश्चन सी इफ यू हैव प्रिपेयर दिस एरिया वेल लाइक दैट इफ समबर इज फेसिंग द assertion and reason question for the first time or statement assumption question for the first time you will not be able to solve those question because you need to know the basics of that uh, topics to handle these questions so those who have done the topics uh, top those topics well you could have easily handle these questions the important part i found was what the questions were not lengthy because when we talk about a verbal reasoning question or critical reasoning question to expect a lot of information is given you have to process that information on the basis of that you have to answer the question that was not the case this time so the questions were simple right so out of 11 somebody could have easily attempted seven or eight questions now verbal uses and reading comprehension here also i'll say the paper was well balanced look at you reading comprehension 20 questions grammar 10 questions vocabulary 20 questions so all the areas questions are almost equally distributed except that grammar part now if i go for that area wise one reading comprehension there were four passages each passage five questions were asked now the first three passages were of very small size for example uh, two passages were of around 130 130 words and one passage was of of 250 words one passage was around 800 plus word so that 800 plus word passage you one could have skip but it was lengthy also and it was a difficult also it was not easy to understand also so if you skip that one passage remaining three passages student could have attempted 15 questions most of the question based on the what is the central idea of your passage what is the inference or from the passage they have given some words and the meaning of those word the questions were based on that a uh, grammar only two types of question that is identify the parts of the speech and error spotting error spotting questions okay they were uh, quite simple one could have easily handle them but identify the parts of the speech not those straight forward so out of five the three were okay two were moderate to difficult kind of things so again okay, the important part is what in this verbal part that whether you know the answer or you don't know the answer so you will not consume more time of thinking what could be the answer so that's the best part of it now vocabulary questions i'll say let's say let's categorize the student like that somebody who is very good at uh, english or let's say very good at vocab he will find these 20 questions very very easy but somebody who is say who is average in vocab okay he might find the vocab part little bit difficult because there were certain words which are not uh, regularly used words okay so for average student this area i will say moderate to difficult i won't say easy for it so those who are good at vocab probably this was easy for attempting these 20 questions you may not take even 10 12 minutes also it was because you have to just they have given a uh, a word you want to find a synonyms for that okay so it won't take more time to choose the answer from the options right so those who were good at vocab or overall the english and rc and vocab part for them the important advantage was what that you can save a lot of time for attempting these 50 questions if these are the 50 questions if i look at including rc you won't take more than 40 45 minutes for attempting all these questions because so rc is the only part which will take time otherwise all the questions the amount of information given was lesser you have to just find the right answer and do mark the answer nothing else look at as far as the maths is concerned maths area is concerned there were no di questions asked in it no data interpretation question all 50 question based on maths only most of these 50 questions were easy category except 5 6 question are counted as a moderate category but see when i say that question is easy the the basic assumption is what the student had prepared for that area right so here the only surprise i found here is what that is question based on stocks and shares 
where generally stocks and share questions are not asked in any exam. Otherwise, you'll see all the areas of regular areas of maths questions are asked. Ages, simple equations, percentages, profit and loss, partnership. SIC, whatever numbers they were given, okay, the question where I find that this approximation is required somewhere. The, we don't get an exact answer of that question. So I think the options were given the approximate answers. But it didn't mention the word approximate there. Or uh, time and work, time and distance. One question of averages I found wrong. I verified that later also. The number given is wrong. Instead of uh, what I'm saying, they have used given particular number. Some other number should have been there. Then only you would have been able to solve that question. So look at in the arithmetic area only there were 23 questions asked. And I hope that every student does this area very well. Okay. So out of 23 questions, I think 20 questions could have been easily attempted and got it correct also. So there is no surprise in the terms of concepts on which the questions were asked. In a slot 4 paper, numbers questions had a considerable weightage. So when we did a workshops for our student time students, I discussed there that keep, please do the numbers well. Because numbers last year also one of the slot of number questions were a higher weightage. All numbers questions were of the very standard type. So HCF models, uh, the LCM models, then you'll find a number question based on divisibility rules. Okay. Unit digit there were questions, but straightforward question. But see, you don't know how to find a unit digit, then you'll, you will be in trouble. Remainder question concept, very simple questions were there. You just don't know what is basic remainder concept. You could have handle those questions. But those who haven't prepared numbers well from there, this area would have been a little bit difficult. But you know the basics, you can easily answer these questions. And even see numbers part, the questions were something like that. Uh, uh, just question into a decimal part. Even they were given one number, you will find a cube root of that number. But some decimal knowledge you require to answer that question. People must be happy those who are not good at geometry mensuration, just one question, one question. Combination, combination, one question. So look at, these are the areas students find a little bit difficult. But you see, there was just one, one question was asked. So if you look at, they touch almost every area. Every area of count the questions were asked. So probably this might be a decision maker. If somebody has not done these areas, they will lose on these marks. But all these questions were very, very easy. Let me tell you that. You just know the basics of logarithm. You could have answered that logarithm question. Basics of indices, you could have answered that indices questions. Now, there were three questions on clock. See, there was one question of clock in logical reasoning also. So clock question they included in logical reasoning also. Clock they included in, uh, what I'm saying, math part also. But clock question were a little bit Tricky means you should have done those types of questions. It's not that you cannot answer those questions, but aha, let's say how many times the two hands will be together in a day or opposite in a day. For that, you should know the basics of that clock spot. Then only you should be able to answer these questions. Now, abstract reasoning was the last area. That is question number 176 to 200 were abstract reasoning question. Now please understand, here there were a lot variety of questions were asked. If you compare with our normal CD, yes, the variety of questions is good. But if you compare with the CD 21, 22, so all the same type of question were repeated. That is nine figure series, 12 figure series questions, five figure series questions. So the better strategy would have been what? You attempt the odd man out questions. And analogies questions, and from the series part, you attempt the limited part. So I will. This is not a ten questions. There were total twenty five questions were there. Total twenty five questions were there. So out of twenty five questions, I won't say a student can attempt all twenty questions. A attempt of fifteen question could have been a good attempt. This problem was what this was the last section. So probably when student reached this section, those who kept this area at the end, they got hardly twenty minutes to attempt this area. So in 20 minutes, I was not expecting to attempt 20 questions of this difficulty level. Some questions were really difficult or at least the amount of information in those figures was very large. So analyzing that entire figure took a lot of time. So this area, I will say moderate to difficult. Out of 25, you should have attempted around 15 questions. So if 
I look at the overall paper. The overall paper, I can say it's a moderate, easy to moderate, more on the easier side. Okay. Now here in this paper, speed is the key. How fast you can solve the questions and more attempts is required. So considering the level of difficulty of the paper, I feel if you're looking for the top college like JBIMS, your cutoff will definitely go 150 plus. Below 150 plus, I find JBIMS difficult in this paper. This paper was very, very easy. Okay. So just I hope you like this analysis and let us know in comment how, what difficulties or what are your comments about this slot for? You can mention in a comment part. Thank you.